Uh, we continue to follow the progress. Uh, the investigation is underway in Paris as to what led to the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral to go up in flames uh, for nearly 13 hours yesterday. A live look there as they continue to get a look and assess the damage. The fire is out. Many of the treasures are intact, but a lot of work ahead. Let's bring in the former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor and host of the new podcast, Newt's World. Newt Gingrich joins us now. Speaker, thank you for being here. We were following your tweets as the cathedral was still up in flames yesterday. You were watching this and thinking what? Well, Calista and I were sitting there frankly, just mesmerized by this horrible event. We'd been there many times. It's a, one of the great centers of Western civilization and of Christianity. It's a magnificent, magnificent building. Uh, and we were just heartbroken. And uh, I know that the president expressed very similar feelings uh, in some statements that he made. And um, we uh, have since uh, worked with the Basilica in Washington to set up a little website where people can help give some money if they'd like to be helpful. I was thrilled that President Macron came out and said they're going to rebuild it. That's exactly right. My my newsletter that's coming out today points out that, uh, you know, we it can be rebuilt. We have done it before. We know how to do this. And uh, 10 years from now, we should have Notre Dame right back there the way it was uh, as a great, great center of civilization. It's amazing what they were able to save um um, including the, the world-famous 18th-century organ, 8,000 pipes. It appears to have survived. We still have yet for a formal uh, declaration of what was able to be spared in this fire, Speaker. Uh, but it, the fire did claim the spire and the roof. We saw them fall yesterday. You sound hopeful that they'll be able to rebuild. Oh, absolutely. We, we were in Venice just two weeks ago, and they had a huge uh, tower, 311 feet tall, that fell in 1902, crashed to the ground. And uh, the Venetian people said, we're going to rebuild it as it was, where it was. And it took them 10 years, and they built exactly the same tower, 311 feet tall. I think uh, if you look at World War II bomb damage in places like Dresden or in Great Britain, uh, there were clearly places that looked like they were hopeless. Uh, if you look at the great... Uh, Benedictine Monastery at Monte Cassino. It had been totally wiped out. And we went back and we rebuilt it. We know how to do this. And I think that President Macron was exactly right last night uh, to, to show defiance and to say that, you know, Notre Dame will be back again and it will be one of the great landmarks of Western civilization. All right, our best to all those involved in those recovery efforts and uh, obviously assessing the damage there and to the city of Paris. What a day it was yesterday. A former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, appreciate you coming on with us. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Glad sir. to be with you.